We have a major setback in Australia, but there's still a glimmer of hope. Marriage equality hearings are set to begin in two unlikely states, Arkansas and Texas. An Oregon ballot measure passes a major hurdle, and organizers launch a new public outreach campaign on the East Coast. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for December 16th, 2013. Well, it's not the news we wanted. An Australian court has ruled that individual territories cannot enact marriage equality legislation on their own. That ruling effectively nullifies the over two dozen marriages that happened in the Australian Capital Territory last week. But the good news is that the High Court of Australia has also laid out a roadmap for enacting full federal marriage equality. According to the court, Parliament has the authority to allow gay couples to wed. That means that organizers can now put pressure on federal officials to bring marriage equality to a vote. Meanwhile, England has set an official date for the start of weddings. Weddings in England can begin on March 29. So you've got about three months to plan that big British wedding. Here in the States, the number of marriage equality lawsuits awaiting a ruling continues to grow. Last week, a judge in Arkansas held a hearing to determine whether he should dismiss a suit against that state's marriage ban. Couples have also requested an injunction that would allow them to marry out of state to obtain recognition in Arkansas. There's no timeline for a ruling there. It could come any day now, or we could have a wait of several months. A court in Texas has agreed to hear a suit against that state's marriage ban. The hearing's scheduled for February of 2014, so the year is already shaping up to be very busy for marriage. Much of next year's attention is likely to go to Oregon, where a repeal of the state's marriage ban will go before voters. Last week, organizers announced that they had gathered the required number of signatures to place the repeal on the ballot. Polling in Oregon is generally favorable, with a steady increase in support over the last few years. The most recent numbers from the Pol Public Policy Polling Institute are over a year old, but they show 54% support to 40% opposed. And finally this week, Pennsylvania has kicked off an education campaign designed to grow public support for marriage. The state has multiple lawsuits awaiting a ruling, so Freedom to Marry and the ACLU are capitalizing on the attention with a Why Marriage Matters campaign. Polling in Pennsylvania is not great right now. A public, polling, a public policy polling survey in May showed 45% support to 47% opposed. The next major milestone in Pennsylvania is a trial starting on June 9th. So there's lots of time to shift public attention, public opinion, between now and then. Those are the headlines. Subscribe here on YouTube to stay up to date on all these stories. For the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.